when ski fin set up, there's three, three settings. Two of them are obvious and simple to do, and the one is, is difficult, getting that measurement of the tail. What do you recommend to get a consistent, how do you take the measurement of the tail, and what do you recommend to get a consistent number? And are, you, are you lining up the calipers with the fin? Where do you put your thumb to maintain that same consistent number? Yeah. So it's right there, yeah. Mess them all up, man. I'm looking for your change. I just want to get the same one. Is Andy way to uh, measure this back number so you get the Andy way? Oh, I thought you were doing it. You called it the Andy way. Lots of ways. I mean, yeah, the other way I've done it is like that. Go and I'm comfortable. So one big ticket is you're standing the ski on its nose, which you know, I just always left it on the side like I, I did the other do, numbers. I, a lot of people can measure on the side. I can't measure it on the side. Like right. even if I'm in a boat or wherever I'm at, I gotta get it up here with my eyes. <laughs> yeah, dry level. You know, and even here, you know, I gotta do it this way. Really? You know, that I just have to measure it. So I, I, yeah, yeah, if I have it laying down, I feel like I'm so another thing so I like do on a bench, you, don't, yeah, you just, don't do it on a bench either. Yeah, I can't do it. It's a little, it can, it's more I can do it in the boat, I guess. Yeah. I just, you know, if I'm in the boat, I do it like this. And do you always mm -hmm. measure at the end of the caliper like you're using? You're, you are measuring at the very I measure the tips, yeah, because I think from different skis, if I was trying to relate different skis, if I put it like that, yeah. I've got a gap in here, under here. Mm -hmm. I've got a gap. Now, if I'm trying to get, you know, a measurement and I'm comparing oh, this. Oh, the bevels or, or yeah, the rock roll. Yeah, the, the concave yeah, is different yeah. depths on different skis and stuff like that. So it doesn't give me a really true length of what this fin is right at the bottom of the ski. Okay. You know, so there's a lot of people measure this way because they just feel better they've got the caliper right over there. Yeah, yeah. But I like to push that down against the ski and then run this, you know, against the ski there to touch it there. Yeah, okay. it's a different number now. Okay. Yeah, it'll be about um, hundred thousandths difference if you lay it over. Yeah. yeah. What it is, just because you've got that, that gap you right there. The the more the cost you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, we went to this afternoon. I mean, the way I do it is just, I just use the cal front end like this. And so you're pressing with your thumb against the tail end of the ski yeah, to get it, this is whatever flat, angle that is. That flat, and I'm and you know, basically eyeballing, making sure this is square, level here, square right. as I can get yeah. it here. Right down. Oh, it's got 8 0, 7 9, 8 0. See, I can push a little hard, but I mean, it's kind of. I don't put the pressure on that. And so with a really loose caliper, you can let it almost just fall down to where it stops with no real force. Yeah, and some people actually, I've seen some people measure. Tail. Yeah, the whole distance. Yeah. The whole distance. Yeah. And like then they'll take subtract it. Yeah. The yeah, and I, I've done that on other skis. And yeah. It, yeah, that's probably not a bad it's way to do it. There's some variability on that little hump yeah. on the tail. Yeah. Cool.